What's happening, everybody? TK here. TK and Drinks. Another Honest Mead review coming at you today. And today, we're hitting number 101 on that road to 500. And we're bringing out one for the Sugar Belt Mead Festival that's going to be happening here at the end of May. I want to say on the 21st. It's about two weeks from the day I'm shooting this show. Uh, I think maybe even a little bit less than that, to be honest with you. But what I wanted to do was showcase a couple of those mead makers that I happen to have some of their products on hand, just to give them a little boost. Give me a little boost. Give everybody a little bump, bump. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, picking up that one from Boneflower today, that slow, heavy jam. This is a Concord Grape Wildflower Mead, 13%. Basically, this is like everything like Concord Grape, that, like the essences of Concord grape, that whole just like, I'll get to that in a second. But <laughs> if you're liking what you're hearing and you're liking what you're seeing, go ahead, give me a follow, subscribe, notify bell, all that jazz here on YouTube, on the socials, wherever you're seeing this stuff, because that's greatly appreciated. It does help me get more great content to y'all. And uh, yeah, that's what it's all about, isn't it? But as I was saying, as you can see, bone flowers, slow, heavy jam, heavy, slow jam, slow, heavy jam is a Concord Grape and Wildflower Mead. Now this, as I was saying, is a complete embodiment. The essence, the absolute epitome of Concord Grape. Now, when I get these aromatics, they're just so much sugar, so much brightness, so much honey character, so much grape character. It is just, who my lanta. Let's get to that slow pour, and then we'll break into that. All right, as you can see, we got that slow, heavy jam poured up here. Nice, thick, full grape character to it. Now, as I've been tantalizing and teasing all along, oh my goodness, the aromatics on this are like, like, think back to when you were a kid, like them great popsicles that were just fully saturated. It used to be in like little like pyramid, like a double pyramid shape. Like they were flat on this side, and then they were flat like this way. Like they'd be flat this way, and then they'd be flat this way. So it's like. A double twisty type thing and it was just like this like rich full welch's grape that's it welch's grape man if you ever had like welch's grape juice concord 100 percent concord welch's grape jam grape juice those little black little thing like little black container thing like squeezy juice pops man that's exactly the embodiment of the aromatics that come off of this thing i am just blown away it said it was made with wildflower honey i, I definitely get some honey sweetness in there a little bit on the back side But that, that grape character is just so heavy and true inside there. It's pretty much hard to pick up anything else. I don't get any alcohol. I wouldn't say it's well balanced because I don't necessarily get any of the honey, but I don't necessarily know if they were going for uh, a real big strong honey presence as they were um, going for that like solid grape jam, jelly, juice, uh, delicate flavor. Um, so let's get to the scorecard and our new scorecard method as we work as we go starting with the aromatics this time you know give that a nine out of ten on the aromatics solid true grape character in there a little bit of tartness a little bit of that like tannicness in there that you can normally smell in like a grape juice um, everything true grape character in there is coming across so give that a solid nine out of ten <sighs> so good <sighs> full rich deep dark grape hue it looks like grape juice i mean it actually looks darker than any grape juice i've ever seen it, it, it like i can put it up to the light over here and it like doesn't penetrate at all i i, I can't see anything and just the murk and the dank is so heavy in there that it, it just it's like almost like a grape black hole it just absorbs all this like light and leaves you just this like purple dense dark area i mean holy crap look at it, it it's just like like a well of purple abyssness in there so we're gonna go ahead and give that uh you know what i'm gonna go with my solid my standard go to five i mean there has to be something just like really outstanding in the in the visual appearance for me to knock it out with a six um just has to stand out in some way this doesn't necessarily do that for me but it is unique in every other way shape or form like liquid grape jolly rancher or something holy cow all right let's get to that flavor now this is definitely where it stands out the most mm. Because it also tastes just like all those Greek Welch products. I mean, I don't know, that's a brand name. And, and I, I just use that as reference because I think it's something that's kind of more widely available that people can use as a reference point. 
but pick up a Concord grape jam jelly juice something and I'm telling you you're gonna have that almost exact 100% flavor profile for this you get you get a nice light tannin presence on the back end astringent acidity flavor is so well balanced I mean this would be like the perfect grape jam mead to pair with like a peanut but uh, like I say a peanut butter mead but like if somebody just made a straight peanut mead I mean you'd be right on the like the cusp of like a true PB&J as somebody who's like likes that gimmicky PB&J type of thing I know it's not like the big thing that everybody gets into a lot of mead makers kind of scoff at it and everything and I, I totally get it. it it's whatever I happen to like that but this great flavor profile right here I'm telling you this one would be one of the the best if probably not the best I, I actually probably like this one this grape flavor profile a little better than I like the grape and um, uh, bam peanut butter and jam from manic and which is saying a lot because <laughs> I'm a huge fan of that one it, it is as a peanut butter and jelly grape uh, profile in there so definitely big on that so that flavor profile man I'm gonna hit this one up with a I'm giving this one a straight up 23 and overall impression I'm hitting up with a with a nine I think this might be one of my best probably my favorite one yet uh, 9 and 9 is 18 18 5 is 23 23 and 23 is 46 I think that is actually a record for the TK and drink show bone flower slow heavy dram picking up the 46 the 4.6 high ranks uh, if you see it out there pick one up again I was fortunate enough to have a friend who was downsizing his collection and was kind enough to offer me some bottles and I, I took what I could get so I could share those with you guys, let you know what's capable, what's out there. So definitely pick up something from Boneflower. Those guys are picking up kick-ass flavor profiles, bringing them across your palate in a unique way. Check them out at Sugar Belt. Check out any of the other cats that are going to be at Sugar Belt because they're all doing similar type of stuff. Obviously, maybe not in this exact same vein, but they're all doing stuff big. They would all not be there if they weren't, you know, have some sort of uh, likeness to their products. Sugar Belt Mead Festival, check it out. Bone Flower Meads, check them out. TK and Drink, subscribe, notify bell, follow, all that stuff. If you do, I appreciate it a lot. If not, appreciate you too, just for watching. Thank you so much. TK and Drinks, another review in the books.